guys, it's New Year's, so this will be our final studio update of the year. And as you can see, we not only have a fat cat, but brand new chairs. Boom. And boom. It's like high-tech race cars going on. So here's one commission I've been working on. It is a Touch of Evil, a board game commission that we got. It's been painted up to our tabletop level for board games. They kind of look uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what I was imagining while I was painting all these. There's some cool pirates and ladies in dresses and stuff like that. They're pretty cool. Another thing that uh, me and Des worked on on the side was some terrain. We did a bunch of rivers and you can see rocks and water trailing off them and then on these ponds over here we even painted some lily pads so uh... that's also something we could do as a commission if you guys wanted some terrain so here's a night that me and walker have been working on to sell on ebay you can probably look up for it now once this video's up and why we decided to work on this thing was to raise money for him to get a ticket to Mexico because me, Des, Walker, and some friends from our class are going to Mexico with a friend, so that's going to be like an awesome trip. For him to afford the plane ticket, we're like, you know what we can do? Let's paint up a night and sell it. <laughs> so you can see that I did some cool freehand on this thing. There's like a sword with fire and like a golden wreath. And then on one sh shoulder you can see that this is a flaming phoenix. And I was going with like a fire and ice theme so you can see like there's a bunch of cold ice sort of stuff going around them. And then on the opposite side it's, it's like a frozen phoenix with fire around it. So going with some cool opposites and stuff like that. Here's some nice caution stripes on his weapon and there's battle damage and everything like that. If you want to see some pictures of it, you can check it out on eBay. So here are another couple commissions that we're just starting and a different one has just been finished by Des. You can see uh, this is a granite commission that we are going to do up to a basic level. So here's another commission that Des has been working on. It is a group of Tyranid warriors. The customers sent one Tyranid warrior as the example model and you can see it's the one right in front here with the base stun. And it completely blends in with all the other ones, so that's a good job. Wow, thanks, Sid. <laughs> the cat is being trained. So hold the brush like that, yeah. Okay, and paint with it. Ready? Hold it. Here. Okay, fine. <laughs> We're not going to hire you. Hey guys, so this is uh, something I've been working on, and it's uh, Corn Demon Prince. And you guys might notice it looks pretty different than normal Demon Princess people would have. And uh, it's actually a really cool mini from the High Tech Miniature a website. And yeah, so you can see, maybe you can see it better on the picture. He's kind of like, he's a perfect model for uh, the Demon Kin, like Space Marine, that when he dies he turns into a Demon Prince because he still has some like armor and like a robotic arm. So like, you can kind of imagine that he was a space marine and then he just got blessed by the gods and he turned into a demon prince. So yeah, so he's really cool. Okay, so one thing that we're planning on doing as like a group, so me, Sid, and Tristan, are uh, we're going to try and start playing War Machine and Hordes. So me and Tristan have had a Hordes army for probably like two years, three years. And uh, as you can see, I really enjoy painting the models and I have like a good, I think a pretty good sized collection. And so does Tristan, which is on the shelf below. So Tristan does circle, and I does I do troll bloods. I does troll. <laughs> I does troll bloods. And uh, yeah, we just thought when like when I saw the new Glacier King and like some new models, I was like, okay, I really want to play this. So uh, uh, me and Tristan started painting up some more guys. Tristan painted like three Griffin. Yeah, things. all those three birds you just saw. Yeah. Um, I painted up a swamp troll because they're awesome. That green guy in the back. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so Sid's decided to start too, but he's playing Warm Machine. Yeah, I'm gonna do some, uh, pretty crazy mercenary army that's, like, based around pirates. So this is just, the, like, the first box set I just got. 
It is the Commodore Cannon and Crew. And that one guy on the left looks like Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's pretty that's, awesome. That's the reason you got it. <laughs> but we were looking at the rules for that cannon, and it seems super good. Like, it has three types of shots. One is, like, a 10-inch flamer that's, like, power 20, which is, like, really strong. So comment yeah. in the section below if this cannon really is crazy OP. Yeah, because pirates are clearly the best yeah. army. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know why no one knows that. Hey guys, Tristan here. Another local project we have is this White Scar Commission. These guys were already painted and kind of like example models. He wants us to magnetize a couple of the arms, so I took the liberty and ripped off their arms uh, to give them a bunch of grab guns. So here are some like other companies' version of grab guns. I forgot which exact one, but they're very similar. Uh, they go on like that, and he also had like a Forge World upgrade torsos, so each of them, they can go on. Uh, we have some cool ones for like, say, he wanted like a librarian for staff, so these guys are kind of like Mongolian, so he wanted like furs and like wolf pelts, like bags, stuff to make them look like travelers. Uh, and yeah, like lots of grab guns, lots of different four swords, and cool stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you don't mind, subscribe, it really helps, and spread the word. Like our Facebook page. And if you have a project you want done, visit our website, fourrealmsofchaos.com, or email us at fourrealmsofchaos at hotmail.com. All the links are in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Rock on! Oh, yeah. I forgot to say, we can play music from the Millennium Falcon. Boom!